So I snuck inside the carriage before they hooked up the horses like they always. It was right, all waste of time. I got nothing to show for my troubles that night. I'll tell you, I can't see a blind thing in that hiding place. It's pitching there. Then after a while, I hear this loud bang. Nearly jumped out of my skin, I did. And the scream just came out. It's because of that, this swell found me. Yeah, he did. I can't do that. I can't do the he lacking. He did help the, me get away. Though. Yeah, I can't do the naturally. I can't naturally say the, the, the lack of the E. Yeah, help me get away, am I? It just doesn't sound natural in my 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 on my tongue. Yes, he did let you go. I fail to understand why he would, you would let the street urchin go, Mister McGill. Did? Oh, tis simply the street myself, miss itself, me lord. You see, she couldn't possibly have killed the other passenger. I knew that for a fact. A fact. She was still under the nice seat. As I'm sure I said before, sir. I was sitting right on top of the place where she was hiding herself. I think a demonstration is called for. This is where I was, I was sat that night. And the cubby hole of which you have spoken is underneath this seat, I presume. Mm, yes, it does appear. It does appear just large enough to accommodate someone of the girl's stature. Hey, but of course, the wee lass was stuck in there, because I parked myself on the seat for this duration. Ah. Oh. So you see, that's why I let the last bolt. I knew that if the police found her there, they'd automatically assume she'd done it. But I couldn't live with myself if a long, young life was ruined when all the time I knew she was innocent. Even though you must have realized your action would result in your own innocence being called into question. I am, as you see, a philanthropist. Not at all, my lord, not at all. I mean, I didn't do it, so... I knew in my own heart that I was innocent. So I thought it was worth taking a punt on my own good name for the sake of this less fortunate lass. Oh my goodness! What a perfect gentleman! My lord, this... this fine example of a man cannot possibly be guilty of a heinous crime like this. I change my verdict. What happens if the last juror just votes for innocent right now? I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh that. god. Hold the fuck up. What happens now? Can the prosecution do what I did earlier? Saints alive. All six members of the jury are consensual in their leaning of a verdict of not guilty. Then who did it? Mr. Naruto, this... Well, it doesn't matter. We just have to prove that he didn't do it. That's that's how court cases are supposed to go, at least. It must mean what? We won! But what's the point? We won? Are you sure? Shut the fuck up. Oh! <laughs> if the sight of my iron-heeled Wellington fans pray, do forgive the, the discourtesy. This really is a consummate example of the one monumental, f monumental flaw in Jude. I think he is going to do the same thing. Practices. Where evidence and reasoning should be paramount, emotion rules the day. Emotion? Where did my glass go? What did you do with it? The witness's latest statement gives us a clear insight into his true nature. What do you mean, his true nature? Do you really think Scotland Yard would have made such a glaring omission? After the incident, the omnibus was comprehensively searched by officers of the police. Obviously, the interior of this cubby hole, as the witness put it, was included in their investigation. The compartment under the posterior seat was full of the coachman's belongings. It's noted in black and white here in the police report. Good lord. The evidence has been tampered with. In order to corroborate Mr. McGillard's story, someone has unlawfully removed everything from under the seat. But we saw it earlier! 
-hmm. It was all still there. <sighs> what what Your happened? Child did it. During the smoke bomb? Probably. Our such dubious contrivance possibly have been affected, Council. Naturally, we must acknowledge the deficiencies of the constabulatory in allowing this to have happened. However, I assure you, when the omnibus was wheeled into the courtroom this morning, the compartment out of the seat was not empty. Well, my Nipponese friend. Hmm? Me? When the carriage was submitted as evidence, doubtless you examined it in fine detail as what a self respecting practitioner of the law. Fuck! What if I had it done that? What if I had left it until this entire this It point? probably would have forced you to. I doubt that. Oh, to be sure, the young gentleman will be able to clear this up in a jif jiffy. Sorry? Go ahead. You tell the court now, fella. How this is all an elaborate excuse by the desperate Lord Von Zeeks. I don't know where this is going. Well, counsel, do you have something to say on this matter? It was stolen. How am I supposed to answer? What can I say about the state of that little compartment under the seat of the omnibus? It was half full. Well, okay, so then it wasn't empty. It wasn't empty. <laughs> I didn't look. It wasn't empty. I really don't know if giving this answer is helping my cause as counsel for the defense. But as far as I remember, at least... first examine the compartment. I'm fairly certain there were a number of articles inside it, yes? Are you sure, Counsel? Ah, Rabbi Wist. What are you saying now, you daft dog? I thought you were on my side here! This is where we find out that he actually did do it. What game are you playing? Your task is to defend the man in the stand. Why would you say something to compromise his position? I'm not here to defend the man in the stand. I'm here for the truth, damn it! As the advocate for the defense in this trial, I confess I'm still not entirely sure where I stand, but it seems to me that I should state what facts I do know as clearly and honestly as possible. Hmm. Interesting. It is not altogether pleasing, fella. I'm simply telling the truth, Mr. McGillid. Well, don't forget that you're supposed to be representing my best interest here, lad. Now then. A fellow's memory is a curious thing and not altogether reliable. Now the court must consider the facts. That the cubbyhole under the seat is as empty as the devil's heart, so it is. Do you think perhaps it would be in your best interest now to admit that you might have been mistaken? What do I do? You save. I save, yes. Why? Why do I feel like something's not right here? Hmm, I should like to draw it where you're on this matter, I think. That compartment is designed into a house equipment used to maintain the smooth running of the carriage. The guild's rules state the om that omnibuses should be properly and fully equipped at all times. So it certainly wouldn't have been empty on the night in question if Beppo wasn't that irresponsible. That money lending fleecer and the pick purse are lying. Oh, fuck. Oh no. No, 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 okay, okay, that was fine. Just one, one is fine. We're still winning. I can't believe I was nearly taken in. The stinky rich are always stinkers. Nothing but cowards, that a lot of a lot of them. But no, 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 no. It's a trick. Uh, of course, it's a trick. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Be the old lady again. No, 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 no. Oh, we're gonna have to do this thing again. Quite so. I must go here. Yeah, I don't think they they do it a second time. Okay, we're we're even. We're good. We're just we we'll stop here. Just with calm, calculated breathing, one arrives clearly the truth every time. Yes, but every time a different tooth, it seems. Is that it? I bow. 
my lord. I humbly exhibit the scales of justice. Clearly a verdict of not guilty at this time would be wholly inappropriate. Thank you, Counsel. But before we proceed any further, there is a matter of the outstanding cross-examination. Oh yes, we have to have to do that. Come from the defense, begin your questioning of the witness, please. Yes, my lord. What just happened? The whole balance of the trial just shifted, almost beyond recognition. The Reaper of the Bailey is at work, it would seem. Mm, that is me. I am the Reaper. What the girl saw. So I, I snuck inside the carriage before they hooked up the door? Why would they... Hooked up oh, the door. hooked up. Hooked up the horses, as just like always. It was a right little waste of time. I got nothing to show for my troubles that night. I'll tell you, if I had to see a blind thing in that hard place, it's a good shot pitch in there. And after a while, I hear the sound bang, nearly jumped out of my skin, they did, and the scream just came out. Because that swell found me. It didn't help me get away, mind. Okay, so the question is, what what do we do here? Is there anything that we have? Or we just gonna have to press? Keep pressing. I think we're just gonna have to keep pressing. Yeah, I wish we... Every single cross-examination of this, of this trial has been that way. It's the non-cross-examinations that have been interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, what was the point? Spinning a, spin a Joey to make a few bob, eh? That's a rum not idea, eh? That's what she means. There's no point spending money to make money. It actually makes sense. Counsel, may I remind you that this girl is a petty thief. Probably refrain from, refrain from entertaining her tenants. Okay, hold on. Well, that does... Uh, well, that does clear up the mis little mystery of the fares and all. Four paying passengers at five pence apiece, make another 20 to which the cabman testified. That seems normal. I'm a little scapegoat riding for fee free. Red conk of the driver always goes for, goes for some grub before his last run, see? That's when I slip into the carriage and get myself hidden, hidden under the seat. Nice and easy, right? What? But your hiding place is a storage compartment full of equipment for the coach now. Yeah, you know, there's brushes and buckets and whatnot on there, sure. Always chuck uh, all that and cram it in a corner somewhere. No one ever seems to bother much. And yet, according to a report filed by the police officer who first arrived at the scene, the compartment was full of such paraphernalia. Well, I don't know enough about that. Like I said, I moved all that stuff out so I could ride under the seat. That's all I can tell you. Hmm. Seems we've reached the end of that line of inquiry. Continue. So, it was taken out. So, the, the question is then... I'll just keep pressing. A waste of time. Why is that? Well, most nice. I'm on my own in the guard permit. At the guard, in the guard permit, at least at some of the time. I beg your pardon. Do you say guard permit? Oh, yeah, well, that's what my car and call it. You call You say the uh, omnibus, I suppose. What is any normal run? The carriage ain't got no one here for a while. That's when you come out of your hiding place and get away. That's it. Well, that night, this cove was sit sat on my t on my seat, sat on my seat from the start, and he didn't budge the whole way, did he? Not one inch. I was totally stuck. I mean, to tell us that you were present in the carriage for the duration. You were under the seat the entire time while events unfolded in the enclosed cabin. Yeah. So he couldn't have moved to stab the person. Oh, I missed it? Well, I don't think that... The trouble is, we're not really sure if she had anything to do with it. She's just a new new witness that we're going over. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the, the trouble is, we still have no proof that Nagilda didn't do it. You don't expect to lift the cushion you've been sat on and find a child now, do you? Hmm, so this Miss Smith is straight. Could it possibly be the culprit, then? Oh, I'll tell you, you can't see my thing. So you can see out in the cabin at all. Oh, big stretch. 
Not a job. Most days I push the curtain up, push it up, cushion up with me head and look out the crack. Then I have a butcher say who I'm gonna feel. I thought you were a pickpocket, not a butcher. I mean, I can't have a look. See, I get on there, you know, as plush as the other one, see? So most of the time, the passengers plant themselves opposite. But for some reason, that night, this year, the Irishman sent the whole journey right over me head. For that reason, you weren't able to push the cushion up to peek out, I see. The truth is, I ain't too happy in a small dark places. It feels much, too much like being thrown in the clink. That's the only place I had in them carriages, so it's an option's choice. I guess you're sick to pick in people's pockets in the open, then. I'd say there's some reason to that she's not letting on, judging from her, from her demeanor. Hey, well, I was a bit scared, but I had to just stick, stick out on there, nothing else for it. I think she was working with someone. I'm wondering, because she said the seat wasn't as cozy on the side under where she did. But Mr. McGinty said that it was more comfortable. But I don't really see the difference. It's actually rather hard when you sit on it. Only just wide enough for two gentlemen to sit side by side, really. Of course, an English gentlewoman would be dressed in such finery. It'd be quite impossible for her to climb up to the roof deck, so she would have had to be seated in here. Women's clothes are very impractical, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. So, why did Mr. McGinty get on this side, then? If they, they're like, yeah, this side is much harder. Blood soaked in this. Yeah, yeah, we got that before. Okay. Hold it! Hold it! When you say a loud bang, do you mean the noise of someone falling to the floor? Could have been, I, I suppose. I don't remember so well. Point is, it made me dumb. And you let our stream involuntarily? Like we last I did. That's right. And then I felt the cushion over me head get light all of a sudden. Presumably when the defendant got up in order to help the victim, yes? Or not. It could have equally been the moment that the accused stood in order to stab his victim, could it not? Well, girl, did you see what happened in that crucial moment? Yeah, I saw it. I pushed up the cushion I had quick bushes while I had the chance, didn't I? An Irishman was sitting up in the... Well... Irishman was sitting up the bloke while I had fallen on the floor on the seat, on the seat opposite. That matches Mr. McGilder's account, of course. But then the sort of fellow suddenly turns around and looks right at me. I sunk back that, down again, but it was too late by then. I should never have risked looking. When did, and when Mr. McGilded discovered you, he pulled you out of, from your hiding place? Oh, scared stiff I was. He dragged me out, sat me down on the seat, and all. Hey, she's not 15, she's 17. That's an obviously d obvious discrepancy. That, I, I, he did it. <laughs> he dragged me out, and sat me down on the seat, all. Next to the victim, Mr. Mason. Yeah, the bloke had a knife in his guts. He was... Still bleeding. And the carriage looked a bit, and he ended up falling onto me. Ugh, how awful. Well, me hands, both me hands got covered in blood. It made me feel sick as a dog. Both her hands covered in blood? That must be what the rooftop passengers saw. After Are we that, gonna confine that this guy committed suicide? Hmm. After all, we have you talked with Mr. Gitmay Gilded for a while, is that correct? He asked me some stuff. Want to know me, Matt name and what all was up to you and that? Then I heard something from above. Someone screams. Yes, Mr. First on the roof deck, one would presume. Well, I didn't see no one face. See me. Well, I didn't want no one see me face, so I didn't look up. 
Then the horses were drawn up smartish, and this here Ashman says to me, Get back on the seat. I'll see you that you can get away later. Hmm. All six members of the jury have decided the defendant was innocent. For one brief shining moment, yes. It's clear that they were all they are all still very unsure. If we could just find some conclusive piece of evidence among this new testimony, I'm sure we would cinch the, clinch the verdict we want. Yeah, I think you're right. I have this niggling feeling. Something's bothering me, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Okay. So I snuck inside the drawers because of the push horses. And I'm gonna show. Didn't she just have a thing? Yeah, but I don't think it was from that night. You can still press her on it. I already pressed everything in here. Oh. I mean... That would have been... It would have been an interesting trinket, but I don't think she would have taken it. Considering it was still lodged inside someone's abdomen. I'm gonna try the knife on this one. I don't think it's gonna do anything though. Did you steal this knife? No, she did not. Your behavior control. Get it under control. That's the case. Hmm. Maybe pro uh Yeah, where's the button? Because I'm sure that's going to be important. Oh, maybe. Objection. No. That one is no? No. What would it do if it was right? The music would stop and he probably wouldn't have looked as nervous. I feel like there's something here. I feel like there's something here, but I don't know what she would have nicked. Maybe the stuff underneath? Yeah, maybe the stuff underneath. Still nothing, yeah. Also the bouncing, the the health bar on the top, it would have gone away if it if you get the right answer. Mm. The gloves? No, I don't think it's anything we have, but I, I pressed everything, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's just nothing here. that one again. Hold it. Oh yeah, that's right. Well 
no. Well, that's new. Excuse me. Something wrong, Miss Merton McGilded. Oh, I do. Uh, I do apologize. Was there something the matter, Council? I lost his axe. <laughs> I'm just wondering if Miss Lestrade's last comment made something occur to you, perhaps. You seem to be thinking something to yourself. Oh, no, no, no. It was nothing important. I was feeling bad for their little poor lasses all. I remember feeling desper desperate myself as a young lad, shut up in the dark. It was terrifying, so it was. Yes, I'm sure. We can all sympathize. I'm still scared of the dark now. I, I don't know about your, yourself, but I find that the darkness seems to make everything you hear seem much louder as well. Okay. I, I suppose it does, maybe. Miss Lestrade. Did you hear something that night? Anything? An unusual noise, perhaps? Ah, uh, not really. All I could hear was this Irishman snoring. Majiggybers, there's no need to tell the whole world of me foibles, you little scamp. What a pity. If only Miss Lestrade had heard something, it might have given us a vital new clue. Yeah, what should we make of that last statement of hers? It's profoundly important. I don't know what this is. Do you got an idea? Nope. Okay. Profoundly important, but, but all she said was that she heard nothing. Yes, which is a, the profoundly important point. I'm almost sure of it. Hmm, I'm almost sure that I don't understand the inner workings of your Eastern mind, Council. Never, nevertheless. Miss Gina Restrade, you will supplement your formal testimony by repeating that last, last statement, please. What? Supplement? What are you got on about? Don't give me all your fancy hawk. I know what you're trying to do. Well, it won't work on me. That's right. Insult the judge. Always a good move. 